Hello everybody and welcome to our New England Patriots Madden 21 franchise and today the New England Patriots are going to be doing their bye week and be playing against the Houston Texans in a sort of double header special uh, for the series. Another thing that happened is that uh, the game for the Texans actually has a cut. Uh, it was cut like a big portion of it between the uh, end of the first and end of the second quarter which really sucks but uh, I sort of got to live with it as we uh, are gonna start off with doing some negotiations here uh, I decline the option on Gunnar Oshevsky because Gunnar is a, a player that I wanted to upgrade but uh, he he has 88 speed for a guy that's a really good uh, return man you're not supposed to have 88 speed because that is unplayable in Madden so hopefully in the draft we can get somebody that's really really fast you know just pound them with the with the their players and uh just get just get speed because we need speed at every position and that is very 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 important uh but uh hopefully we can keep this win streak going because we did lose to the browns two weeks ago and now we are uh hoping to win again back to back against the texans when going into uh, those games against the Panthers and Bucks, the two teams in the NFC South, or two of the four teams in the NFC South, this is going to be our second matchup of the uh, in the franchise between these two teams. We had played the Texans last year, around this same point in the year, actually around week 12, week 11. Sadly, it was also cut out a little bit, but it is what it is. We're still getting, uh, we're still going to be pushing through it. We're still going to be editing the video, same as normal. This is going to be very, very fun. As the as Anthony Schwartz gets an upgrade here, he is now already a 60, 69, 70 overall, just in half of a season, which is insane because I love upgrading him, and I really enjoy upgrading players that fast because the quicker they upgrade, the better they will be. And next thing you know, they're 90 overall, 99 speed, and running down the field like an absolute madman. But uh, that is going to do it for these upgrading and uh, training for the bye week. We are now moving on to week 10. And sadly, there is no breakout game. We did have a breakout game. I'm pretty sure it was last week. Yes, with against uh, the Jets. And it was for Reed Blankenship, but sadly he did not get uh, he did not get the upgrade. So hopefully we can get another one. Hopefully he has a great game this week against the Texans, because that's going to be very very important for this team because he's already star development. If we can get him to superstar, that'll be awesome. Because then if he gets an award at the end of the season, he'll go to X Factor, and next thing you know, he will be. Uh, an X Factor safety at a 70 overall, which would be perfect for upgrading him. But we are going to do more scouting. Like I said earlier, I want speed on this team, so we're going to just be scouting the players manually because you do end up scouting more players, it seems. I do like doing it because, you know, I don't like when the CPU scouts a player, like they only scout the player that you need, the position. And I don't like when they do that because, well, I want to draft my own players, one. And two, if you start scouting like a quarterback when you have a franchise quarterback, it's like, what are you doing? You don't need to do that. You're just messing it up. Like, please stop scouting. Please, I beg you. And uh, it's always very frustrating. So I just do it myself. Makes it a lot easier for me. And it's uh, less stressful. But we're doing more upgrades. Sorry, this is like a very long, uh, very long intro. We haven't gone even to the game yet. It's because, well, uh, these two weeks it's just a bunch of upgrading so hopefully uh it isn't uh as long next week probably probably not because it's just gonna be one week but it, it, it is what it is and i think we are finally going into the game here against the texans the six and two patriots are going to be taking on the uh I'm pretty sure it's the six and two tight Texans, if I'm not mistaken. They're also a really good team in this uh, this season already, which is already insane to say because let's be honest, in real life they are not going anywhere. With Deshaun Watson having those uh, those uh, how do I say it issues, 
Um, that's the way to put it lightly. Yes, those issues. It's a little bit... Oh my gosh, he gets intercepted on the second play of the game by Jonathan Jones, who all he needs to do is beat Deshaun Watson on the play there, and he does. Deshaun Watson can catch up to him. And now, a great start for the Patriots against this Texans team with a pick six to start it all off. Absolutely perfect. But as I was saying... It's a little bit surprising to see the Texans this good in the uh, in the game. I'm going to be honest because they aren't on the up right now. They drafted a quarterback with their first pick in the draft this year in real life. So to see them be good next year will be highly, highly surprising. As Justin Fields rushes out of pocket. Has Anthony Schwartz right down the field. Just he needs to bomb it. And he does to the 30-yard line down Anthony Schwartz. And to the end zone is him. As you see here, that is the uh, cut. Very unfortunate. But yeah, the clip did cut from that point on up until the end of the second quarter. We did score the touchdown there. Made it 14-0. Then the Texans drove down the field. Scored a touchdown for them. And then we scored another touchdown to make it 21-7. But, and then, finally, the final thing, they scored a field goal on that drive. They made it into field goal range five seconds ago. They kicked the field goal and made it 21-10. And we get the ball to start the half. That is basically the entire, uh, the entire part that you missed. But it is what it is. As Justin Fields was out of pocket again. Throws it to John Ross, who has a great angle there and makes an aggressive, crazy catch there reaches out with both of his hands and catches the ball and sets us up into the red zone into the goal to go area of the Texans uh, territory and now it is all up Justin Fields rolling out of the pocket again to Asi Asi no that's Dalton Keene who gets the touchdown actually no it is Asi Asi sorry or, or is it I'm not even sure I don't even know who it is it is, I, I couldn't even see it, I'm sorry, but the tight end there got the pass and got the touchdown, great catch there by the tight end from Justin Fields, already has, I'm pretty sure, three, actually no, two passing touchdowns already in the game, no turnovers, just like we were last week, very good game, even though it was very, very close last week, we still won, so... Right now, we're playing uh, very, very good compared to last week as the fourth and two, and the Texans are going for it. They need 18 points really quickly, and they don't get it. Sack by Joseph Osai. I think that Joseph Osai? Osai. Okay, I, I forgot his first name for a sec, but he did get the sack there, and now we get the ball back, put it, making this game uh, as I throw a stupid interception there, and that keeps our uh, that breaks our streak of no interceptions in a game uh made it only one so we've thrown a lot more interceptions recently uh it's been about one per game over the last few games and now the texans have good field position i was just about to say that getting a first down or getting a few first downs would have iced the game there because 18 points is very hard to come by or very hard to beat in about two minutes but sadly that did not happen and uh, we throw a costly interception as we get the ball right back. Reed Blankenship, what I was saying earlier, needs a development trait. Would be perfect. Is running and nobody's going to catch him. Reed Blankenship down to the 15, 10, 5 and touchdown. Celebrates into the end zone. And the rookie sub linebacker, strong safety, has a 99 yard touchdown return. And that basically ices the game for the Patriots that will most likely do it as I miss a couple tackles there keep them in bounds and yeah we most likely will get the win unless something crazy happens we will get the win against the the uh, Texans which will be very very good uh, because they are a very good team and if we beat them we would have the tiebreaker over them and in the playoff race you always need a tiebreaker because then you jump from the first to second seed second to first seed you can't allow them to win the game as speaking about coming back here the texans are possibly coming back i'm not sure uh it was a very very uh uh, costly touchdown there to make it a uh, closer game but I think we just put it out of reach with Anthony Schwartz getting his second touchdown of the game another huge play by him uh, pretty sure it's a 75 yard touchdown uh, for him 
Now I think he has about 100, over 100 yards, definitely, in the game as Kyle Duggar gets an interception here. It's an interception fest in this game. Three picks for the Texans and Deshaun Watson, and that will do it. That is going to be game. A, a thing, I think that's it. Yeah, it's a 25-point victory for the Patriots. Great overall game here. And now we are just trying to add points on the board for no reason as to get the ball in to the end zone but it is sadly caught uh, at the five yard line with three seconds to go don't want to risk a turnover as we almost get the touchdown there on the final play of the game but John Ross just gets inches away from the from the uh, goal line and we win the game 42 to 17 which is a great great game even though Justin Fields has that one interception it is still a very, very well-rounded game. Hopefully, going in the next week, we can keep this win streak alive against the Carolina Panthers in Carolina. Uh, and it'll be... Uh, well, Cam isn't on this team, so I was going to say it would be Cam's uh, Cam's first game against his old team. But, you know, he, he isn't on the team anymore, which really sucks. But it's all about the business. It's all about doing that. But, uh, yeah... I uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, like and subscribe if if you want. You don't have to. There's really no no uh, reason for you to do it, but you can if you want. This is a huge win for the Patriots. Uh, this uh, past the midseason mark already. We are into the second half of the season, but that is going to do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. See ya.